please check out their website, pileoftears.com. So big welcome for Lorelai Ramirez, everybody. Hi, how's everyone doing tonight? You're so far away. Hi, camera. Um, you can't see this, but everyone's very far away. Um, so if you're watching, I just want to let you know that. I'm going to start. I'll see you in a sec. I'm really excited to be here. Um, I had a crazy day today. I woke up very early in the morning. I saw a dog in my room that wasn't mine. And the dog started talking, barking, sorry, barking. And then, and then I, I was like, okay, I should just go to the kitchen and make myself something to eat. So I started making myself something to eat. And then I, Sorry. <laughs> my, she's hiding. Um, sorry, my best, my best friend Jen is here. That's insane. I'm, I'm sorry, this is really distracting. Cause I, can everyone just give a round of applause to Jen for being here? <laughs> it's so insane. Uh, yeah, this is so weird. Jen doesn't normally come out to things like this, but ever since she passed away last week, she's kind of been at every show. So, truly a blessing. So I am mixed. I'm a mixed person, just in case you were wondering why I looked weird. You know, I heard some of you screaming as I came up to the stage, and I, so I just have to address it. I am mixed, a mixed race. It's very hard being mixed. Um, there's a lot of problems, you know, with it. One of the biggest problems is I wake up every day, I look into the mirror, and I scream, you know? <laughs> because I don't know which race I'm going to be that day. <laughs> you know, like, maybe I'll, I'll illustrate it for you. So here's my bathroom, right? And then here's me. And then here's my reflection. And my reflection's just kind of like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It seems like you're not getting it. Maybe I'm not painting a picture. Okay. So here's my bathroom. Like my bathroom's like from here to here. And then here's my toilet. No, the toilet's here. And then here's my sink. And here's like a little like, towel and then here's the bathtub and then here's like curtain and then over here's my dad and then in a little jar over there there's like people in it and then here's my reflection and my reflection's just kind of like <laughs> do you It's really hard being mixed, is what I'm trying to say. But it's fine because I, um, I'm part of a really cool support group for mixed people. We meet in Midtown once a week in a basement and we do all these really fun exercises like we, we like bump into each other in the dark. Um, we like turn all the lights off and we're just like, you know, doing that. And we're happy when we're doing it. Um, and we like scratch each other to, to see what's underneath. Um, and we fall together and we rise again. And whenever anybody asks us where we're really from, we all slit our fucking throats. Here's an impression. See if you can guess what this is.
That's me at the bank. <laughs> and if you were wondering, there are about 10 people in front of me. There's also 10 people behind me. So I'm kind of like in the middle of the line. And get this. <laughs> it's not even my bank. <laughs> I'm in the wrong bank again. <laughs> what if that was how I talked? You just see me outside, waiting for each of you to follow you home. Where are you going? <laughs> Let's go to the bank. <laughs> I have no head. There's like a little worm sticking out. But it's eye the eyes of the worm. This worm has eyes and the eyes of the worm are like your mom's eyes. So it's like very familiar. So you let me follow you home. And then right at the door, you're like, wait a minute, what the fuck? And you get really scared. <laughs> you start shaking and you melt. What the fuck? Your, your body's melting, your skin is melting. You can't believe it. <laughs> um, you see my face through the door. I'm like, huh? Buy my album. <laughs> I don't have an album, but. Buy my album. <laughs> you hear it forever. <laughs> you just hear that going and going. You're in a psych ward. <laughs> What else? I have a lot of anxiety. Um, you know, it's gotten progressively worse since after the election. Um, please vote tomorrow, by the way. Just saying that, please, please vote. I, I saw in some of your eyes, I saw, I'm not going to vote. <laughs> said, please vote, and I saw, please vote tomorrow. Um, yeah, so my anxiety has gotten progressively worse since after the election. It started like, you know, spiraling. And um, so I've had to start going to therapy, which has been really good. Um, I'm taking medication now, so that's, it's really amazing and it's really changed my life. And I really love therapy because it's allowed me to deal with my anxiety by, you know, uh, kind of developing various coping mechanisms so I can, you know, deal with the anxiety. And so now every day I do these three things and I'll just share them if you need them. Um, and if I don't do these three things, I kind of like lose all control and I can't really live. So maybe it'll help you out if you're going <laughs> through the same thing. Um, every day I have to do these three things. I have to eat at least three times a day. I have to uh, move my body around or exercise to make sure I'm really there. And I have to collect my thoughts or meditate, um, you know, just to do that. And when none of those things works, I close my eyes, I take a deep breath, and I think about the knife dildo from the movie Seven. Oh my God. <laughs> And I'm like, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> the human imagination is limitless. <laughs> Knife dildo from the movie Seven. Um, here's another impression. See if you can guess what this is. Hey, mister, I could suck your dick if you want me to. <laughs> that is whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Okay. Now we're, we're getting to the good stuff here. Um, if, you know, uh, I love doing this, um, making people laugh is fun, but that's not what I, what God sent me here for. Um, if you couldn't tell from the sound of my voice, I do write poetry and I'm going to read some for you tonight. Um, and I would say this is where the comedy stops and where you can just allow yourself to, to feel. Okay. Um, so I'm going to read from this book of poems that I wrote and I am selling after the show. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, but I have to get ready first, so just give me a second. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
This first poem is about my father. Um, we had a very tumultuous relationship. Um, he used me as a broom once. So. <laughs> my father is a blender. When he is full of berries, he begins to scream in agonizing pain. He calls out for help. Help! He twists and turns and spills out gunk. He shakes and screams and cries until he stops. <sighs> and from his beautiful, tired mouth, a smoothie. <laughs> Just for me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This next one is about a lost love of mine. Um, this is a love that never was, and let's just say it wasn't my fault. <laughs> this is called Latte Man. <laughs> I made a man out of 50 lattes. I took the foam and constructed him, put a hat on his foamy head, made arrangements to his face to make him seem like he was happy to see me, happy that I was there. I outstretched his arms, but foam doesn't work like that. It never does. So I just made him lay on the ground so I could look at him and smile back take off my clothes and lay onto him, feeling him disappear underneath me, turning into a puddle of milk. Mine, my milk, man, what am I doing? He's gone! Oh I should probably try making another one, thank you. Thank you so much. What if I never read anything and it was just, just look. Like you guys clearly saw that I wasn't turning any pages. <laughs> just an hour. Everyone's really mad at me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end it all. And um, <laughs> a short little thing, thank you so much for uh, letting me fool around here today. Um, and if you wanna buy a zine, uh, please. I know it seems like a joke, but it's not. <laughs> I know it's funny for you to laugh at my life. <laughs> but who will be laughing when I follow you home? <laughs> um, you know, just, just come to me and uh, you can buy one or just say hi. Thank you.